Ecstatic congressional Democrats treated the president and vice president like conquering heroes. Mr. Biden heaped praise on his boss. Mr. President, you are that leader. You're the guy that made it happen. Perhaps going overboard just a bit. You want me to stop because I'm embarrassing you. <laughs> when his turn came, the president they, turned the spotlight on those denied health care in the past. I'm signing this reform bill into law on behalf of my mother, who argued with insurance companies even as she battled cancer in her final days. And he focused on benefits of the new law that take effect this year. This year, insurance companies will no longer be able to drop people's coverage when they get sick. He drew a response from the crowd when he praised members of Congress who had the courage to vote yes. Who've taken their lumps during this difficult debate. Yes, we did. The president then signed the bill using 22 pens. We are done. And handed them out to key members of Congress. But just seven minutes later, the ink barely dry, Republicans launched a counterattack as more than a dozen states filed federal lawsuits arguing that the government can't force people to buy health insurance. And I'm confident that the court is going to declare the new health care reform law unconstitutional. On Capitol Hill, Republicans predicted Democratic defeat in the November elections as they launched a new campaign. I think the slogan will be repeal and replace. Repeal and replace. But Republicans are not the only ones who reigned on the Democrats' parade. An analysis of the tape reveals that the vice president, who has a reputation for verbal gaffes, uttered a profanity as he introduced the president. A White House official laughed off the remark, saying the vice president is absolutely right. Health care reform is a big deal. Harry? Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thanks.